Hello, my name is Recep Toasty, and welcome back to some more Satisfactory. Now, we have a problem. This train is currently going to come up this spiral just fine, but since it has eight cars on it, and at any given moment, six of them could be full of something, there is every likelihood that it doesn't make it all the way up the, 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 the thing. A couple days ago, when I opened it up, I saw it stuck, like, down there so yeah we're gonna need to do something about that i also want to add something to the weapons factory so the plan for today is pretty simple we're gonna add another item to the weapons factory and change around how it looks a little bit because i'm mildly unsatisfied with it and that is not okay and we're going to switch around some of the trains because this one is too long and circumstantially it will get stuck and nothing will go anywhere so instead of having one train pulling like everything i'm gonna switch it around to have multiple trains and each one of those trains instead of having like five or eight freight cars they're just gonna have three so hopefully they'll still be able to carry everything that they need to so i'll have two different train stations at the weapons factory one that has the actual weapons and then another one that has just the items that are being made there so like the coal coke and the black powder and the smokeless powder either way pretty quick plan for today gonna go ahead and upgrade the armory as is stated on the tin and then we'll see about upgrading the trains so right here we have some of the straight up bullets coming in and then some of the nobelisks then down here we have all of our powders um i'm just gonna get rid of all of these belts because right now i don't need them those okay so now i need to for one add another one of these and that'll be where our sixth material comes in to play all right uh these light physics are really cool i can't wait until my entire computer explodes of course for now i actually need to find some caterium because the next piece we're adding is going to be ai bullets i don't know what they're called let me check homing rifle ammo which requires high speed connectors Apparently, okay, I need more plastic so I can make the circuit boards, or maybe not plastic, but I can use the oil that we have down here. Okay, where is that Katerium? Oh, here it is. Hey, guy, I'm not going to blow you up, I swear. I'll just get these. Eh. Don't fetch. That's a bomb. It'll kill you. Excuse you, sir. You're not gonna... Oh, that's just another entrance. Okay. This is not what I'm supposed to be doing, but it's really cool in here, so that's a big funny. I don't think it's supposed to look like that. This is just a curtain. Ah! I need to get this over there. I could maybe set up a truck route or just connect it to the train, but then I'd have to have a specific thing just to carry Caterium from here to there, and then it would come back, and then that would be worthless and there's no reason to do that so what should i do instead oh boy there's a lot of things here ah okay so uh they're all dead uh, do i just belt this over there can't be that hard right it shouldn't take too long or like i said i might do a truck route and use some of the fuel that i have over there at the armory so yes, I could do a truck route and have it come in here and go out there and then kind of go along where the, the train track does. Of course, not on the train track because it's not a train. I also then need a truck station here. Could have something here. Also then, if I have it like facing in this way, I could have it come in here around and then go out. Okay, so I can have a truck come in here. I should uh, probably change some of this to like asphalt just for aesthetic that is the only reason so i can just have the quick wire come in here and then go up to a assembler or a manufacturer or whatever for the high speed connectors with some of the 
cable and then wire, whatever. I think there's a fuel generator in here. I want that to stop, and I want this to go into a packager instead. So 30 a minute is good. This is a good amount of stuff. So this can go into a packager with 30 per minute of the canistors. That's not where my thing is. So I need 15 plastic per minute for that then. I need two and a half circuit boards per minute, which is way underclocked. I need 10, which means I need 25 plastic per minute. I need 37 and a half crude oil per which I guess does mean I could just overclock the other one to like 150 or something. And then I would I would actually have more heavy oil residue, so... Which I guess I could put into this as well, maybe? Yeah, I can put the petroleum coke in the same little line here and then just have this do more. And then I can have the plastic go into a constructor over here somewhere, maybe. Depends where I put the refinery, like there, then this will be making plastic, right? Those at 25, which isn't too far overclocked. I do now need a constructor for canisters here. So now the plastic goes in there and it starts making empty can canisters. Empty can yeah, empty canisters. And then I need to have it go this way. Perfect, it fits, just barely. And then it needs to go into the packager here, which I will set up once I have everything ready to go. All right, so I have stopped the train and now we can get to remodeling. So instead of having one with five, we need to have two with three. And I'm not entirely sure how to do that because these are really big. I could maybe use that area. I think these are maybe four, four meters across. So that's three, which isn't good. This is also three, but then if I cut that down, then I could like flatten out this roof a little more and then move one over and have one on that side. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. I'll take this down and knock that down as well and then flatten out this roof. And then this turns into this. Now, I know it looks a lot different than I said it would. In fact, it, it, it's, it's completely different. They're even going the opposite direction. But they wouldn't fit if I had them going this way. But I do have now these set up. So each of these, this one would carry the weapons and this one would carry the other materials like the, the powders and the petroleum coke. So you can get to either one from either side which is uh, good, that's exactly what I need. And then they both condense down into this one and go back on whichever side the train so pleases to go. I've rearranged some stuff in here, so this wall is flat instead of having a bunch of stuff coming out of it. I have also added in this little window thing, remodeling most of the general shape. So now I need to get this and this into a packager. There you go. All right, so this has then both the fuel and the canisters coming in. Now, this plastic also needs to go to an assembler or a manufacturer for the high-speed connectors. High-speed connector. This will be made elsewhere. This we can already make, so we need an assembler for the homing rifle ammo, just two things in, the rifle ammo and the high-speed connectors. The rifle ammo is down there somewhere, so that's fine. We also need to make the high-speed connectors in a manufacturer, so that's an assembler and a manufacturer so far. And then the circuit board needs an assembler with copper sheets and plastic. Plastic is being made, it's right here, and then the copper sheets are also being made over here on the left somewhere. So then we need an assembler, we need a manufacturer, and we need another assembler. Oh. Alright then. And this should be getting everything. So this is the rifle ammo. 50 of it per minute. And then this is the 2.5 high-speed connectors, right? Yes. 
So everything is fine. Now I just have to go and get the truck route done for the quick wire, which is easier said than done. Well, it's only one truck, so I don't really have to worry about it, like, going side to side or anything, now that I think about it. So, just one truck's width should be fine, and I don't truly need to separate them in terms of, like, running into each other, because, again, it's only the one truck, as compared to some other lines that have more than one truck going on it at the same time or something similar. Alright, so that works then, right? Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so then now I have to figure out the truck route. Of course, that's gonna come after I figure out the fuel in here, because I gotta do that too. Of course, my packager is right there. So, do I want that going over or under the walkway? Let's have it going over, just because it would be pretty cool. Perfect. Effect. Although I do think I need to get a splitter on here to go into this mess, and that hopefully connects. It does. Okay. So now that should all go down this line and be perfectly fine and be okay and it'll work. So now I need to go turn the factory back on. So turn you back on. Let's try to turn this back on again. Okay. It looks fine. These aren't currently working, because again, I don't have the... whatever they are. Probably don't even need a truck, but at this point, I don't even care. I just think it's cool, okay? So, now I'm just gonna hope to God that I can actually make it around that corner. And it's going to work perfectly. Five minutes later. You gonna work? You gonna do it? Mm -hmm. You gonna do it? How dare you. Double dog dare you. I'll give you a fish. Okay, alright, then we just skipped the whole thing. Gee, thanks. <laughs> alright, he's on his way. These guys are pretty fast. Alright, so now we're gonna see how well this works. Already bouncing around, and we're not even at the bad part yet. Sir, sir, thank you. All right, let's see how this goes. Probably poorly, but hey, you know, you never know. Great, awesome. Here he comes, about to open the doors. There you go, there he is, there's the boy. All right, so this should take the stuff out of it, right? Yeah, uh-huh, good. Okay, Daryl. We got quick wire. We got fast wire. And uh, we have everything else except this, which is worrying. Copper sheets? Where are my copper sheets? Why don't I have my copper sheets? Sir? Oh. Because I deleted the machine that was making them. Uh. Whoops. <laughs> that. And then their copper sheet. So now we've got it making high-speed connectors. Not a whole bunch of them, right? But then those are going in here, right, with the rifle ammo, and it's making the Holman rifle ammo, and it already made some. Right, and that should have gone in here? Yes, we have 40. And this thing is still working where it's overflowing on the fuel, and it comes in here, and then it splits off that way. Mm -hmm. I can homing rifle ammo. And this holds 15, and I think it does marginally more damage. Alright, so they do home in, which is good, because I suck at aiming, right? And so now they just hit things for me. It's great. Alright, so that's finished, and now I need to worry about getting them up here. Alright, so now these are done. Got everything connected up over here and over there. On this side, we have Nobelisks under there. We have regular rifle ammo and homing rifle ammo in these two belts, which means that this train uh, has a lot of really, really dangerous stuff on it. The, the boom booms indeed. And then this side just has like 
the smokeless powder and the black powder back there, and then the petroleum coke, boom boom powder, plus petroleum coke. Okay, so these three can stay, you can go, and then I'll put another base there, right? And then these three can stay and you can go, and I think I have room for just one more. I can do another one of those, right? Base station, weapons, and this one can be base station, uh, what was it? It was, um, powder. Now, I can go ahead and, uh, for one, build me a, an electric locomotive again. So this guy should go pick up at the weapons. Wait, locomo- oh yeah, because I didn't save it. Okay, so base station and the boom booms. Save. Right, now I can get out, mm -hmm, and it'll go. Right? And now since this only has three cars, it should be capable of making it up the spiral. I would hope, anyway. If it's not, then that's pretty sad. Alright, so now that he is heading out, I can do another one and have it go to, um, the whatever whatever thing. That sure makes sense to anybody. We're gonna want to be careful with running them into each other. Which essentially means that before these run for too long, I'm going to have to figure out the... What are they called? The block signals. So I can put one here, right? And then have it go to the end there. Yeah, and um, essentially, yeah, um, I'm just going to have to figure that out at some point soon. But for now, before all that uh, absolutely ruins itself, because it's going to, but I don't particularly care right now, and it's fine. It doesn't matter. Uh, for now, I do hope you enjoyed this episode of Satisfactory. I most definitely did. If you did enjoy, please do leave a like and subscribe, and leave a comment down below on suggestions of what I should do next in this world. But for now, that's all for me. And I will see you later. D goodbye.